YouTube, it's your boy K Flex, and I'm back here with another video, and uh, uh, it's just a sad game to watch, y'all. Uh, we wasn't winning at any point in this game. Uh, now, looking at the box score, because people say I underrated the Lions defense, I didn't underrate the Lions defense. Let's get straight into it, okay? Um, I didn't underrate the Lions defense. The Lions defense didn't play that well, okay? They didn't play that good. Brock Osweiler didn't play bad. If you think they won because of Lions defense, you're sadly mistaken, okay? They won because our defense couldn't get their, uh, their off the field that's why they won now let's start let's start in some kind of order here let's start in some kind of order here pre-game pre-game okay Devontae Parker for some reason is not playing okay Bruh. for whatever f reason on this planet I don't understand Devontae Parker practices all week come Sunday last Sunday he only played like four snaps come this Sunday he plays none okay he's not even active on the roster which don't worry I'm gonna get into how that affected us later in the game but listen he's not even active if Devontae Parker doesn't get traded, I don't know what to say, okay? If, if, if this is not no big ploy to trade Devontae Parker or whatever, if he don't get traded before Wednesday, Thursday, I have no clue. Or whenever the trade, is the trade on like Thursday? I don't know. But if he don't get traded, I don't know what to say. What the fuck are y'all, like, what is, it's a dumpster, that whole situation is a dumpster fire, okay? Like, if we, if Devontae Parker gonna play, let him play. If he's not gonna play, trade this I don't know. Why is he practicing, like, at all? Like, it doesn't make no sense. He's practicing, taking the reps, and then he doesn't play. He's not even active, okay? He's not even active. It doesn't matter how many snaps he get. He's not even active, which affected us because Albert Wilson goes down with an injury and we don't have his replacement right there, okay? Maybe this was Devontae Parker's game right here. And then later in the game, Kenny Stills goes down and we had to put Kenny Drake at receiver. It's, it's like, you got to be like, you you got to be more prepared for this. Like, I don't understand. Why is he practicing all week and not playing? I, I need answers. I'm sure we're going to get him while I'm making this video. I need answers. Getting into the game, man. Um... Terrible play calling, conservative play calling at the beginning, okay? Like I said, this is, the defense is terrible. I don't know why we ran the ball on a third and 10, and you guys know what I'm talking about. If you don't, watch the replay. We ran the ball on third and 10, y'all. On third and 10, y'all, okay? And listen, the play calling for the most part today was great, but that drive, when we had to punt that ball, it was, it was inexcusable. Why the fuck are you running the ball on third and 10? Why are you running the ball? It's like, oh, to get in the field goal range. That's what we playing for? We playing for field goals? And we didn't even get it. If anything, throw a slant to get in the field goal range or something. Why are you running the ball up the f***ing middle on third and 10? To get a field goal? To kick a 50-yarder? You're doing that to kick a 50-yarder? Are you f***ing kidding me? Doesn't make no sense. <clears throat> Anyways, man. So, get past that. And I'll say, uh, I'll say this. Besides the conservativeness at the beginning, I think Adam Gage did call good plays, okay? Second half, I think he called good plays, but it didn't f***ing matter because our defense couldn't get a stop. Now, I, I don't like counting people's pockets, okay? It's the one thing I don't like doing. I don't like getting in people's monies, but I got to, okay? Because it's public information in this situation, and when you're paying a position a lot of money, you expect them to do good because we only have a certain amount of money we can spend. So if we're paying you a lot, of a lot, that means you're supposed to be like the best unit on our team. You know what I'm saying? Like metaphorically speaking, if I'm paying my cornerback majority of my salary, then they're supposed to be locked down because if not, I could have got a better player at a different position. So we're looking at our highest paid position. It's defensive line. Three of our top five highest paid players this year against the cap are on the defensive line. Cameron Wake, Andre Branch, and and, and, and Robert Quinn. Now, I, I said Robert Quinn was a, was a bad pickup, okay? And then I switched it in the preseason. I said, you know what? He looked good. But that was preseason. This motherfucker had more sacks in the preseason than he had this regular season, and we done played six games. And he done played way more snaps. This Bruh. dude is not getting to the quarterback. Actually, that was a seven game, wasn't it? So seven games, you have one sack, Okay? Kevin Wake, I don't want to attack you. I, I love Kevin Wake. I don't, want, I don't even want to attack him. Andre Branch, you've been a bum for years. People want to say, people want to say, hey, Devontae Parker, trade him. How about we get a package? Devontae Parker, Andre Branch, get the f out of here. Bruh. Huh? Get him out of here. Okay? If we could get a pack, if we could somehow get rid of Andre Branch's contract and get him out of here, it would be a miracle. I, I swear it'd be a miracle. Cause this guy, this guy is not it, bro. It's, it's he's not it. He had one decent season. We paid him all that money. I don't get it. Like I said, I hate counting people pockets, so I'm getting off this subject right now. But it, it's just. The, the guys aren't doing nothing. And to be honest with you, our defensive line been playing so good that, I mean, our defensive secondary has been playing so good with the exception of this game. Our defensive secondary has been playing so good, you haven't even noticed that our defensive line has been playing like shit, okay? For the most part, they're not getting sacks, okay? Uh, William Hayes has two sacks, which is the same amount as Kevin Wake and Robert Quinn, and William Hayes got hurt week three or week two, okay? Jerome Baker got two sacks. 
got, look at Vincent Taylor. These are people that wasn't even supposed to be the main guys. They have more sacks than the people that was supposed to be the main guys that's making all the money, okay? Can't wait. I love you, okay? I have respect for you. Um, So I ain't gonna say that bad. I listen, I ain't gonna say nothing. A secondary, it, did, it didn't look that bad, but like, it's like, think, like times when we was running zone, okay, and they were just throwing it right in between the zone. Matthew Stafford is a good quarterback. He's gonna find that. You know, he's gonna find what that zone is. I told y'all, Matthew Stafford would have to play unconscious for them to win. If you look at Matthew Stafford's stats, two touchdowns, 217. If you look at Brock Osweiler and Matthew Stafford, Brock Osweiler really almost had the better game. So if anybody wanna blame Brock, I don't know how you could do that, okay? But the difference, difference is, the Lions didn't have to throw the ball because Carryon Johnson ran for 158 yards. Now, I just want to put this in perspective for y'all. The Lions had one 100-yard rusher in the last since uh, since Reggie Bush, okay? And it was Carryon Johnson against the Patriots. I don't know when the last time the Lions ran for this many yards in the game, 200 yards in the game, okay? And I bet you if a Lions fan come to this video, he's going to tell y'all. He, he probably could tell y'all, these don't run, don't run for 200 yards ever. Now, all of a sudden, they run for 200 yards on us, okay? I wasn't expecting that. How was I supposed to predict that, all right? So, you know, I thought we could get this win, but I couldn't predict us running. Like, the Lions don't do this shit every day. Next next week, they're not going to do They not gonna, Okay, who want to who bet money they don't run for 200 yards next week? Okay? They're not going to do like, I don't. I don't get what the hell was wrong with the linemen off his defense. The linebackers look just like they looked last year. It was terrible. We know Robert Quinn and Cameron Wake are not strong run stoppers. So if you're not, if you're not getting to the quarterback, okay, and you're already not strong run stoppers, what the f are you bringing to the team? All right, we know this, okay? If you look at some of them off tackle runs, Robert Quinn can't stop that. So if you're not getting to the quarterback, you're not bringing nothing. You're not bringing, you're not contributing anything to the team, bro. It just the defensive line has to do more. So like I, I don't got nothing bad to say about the offense. The play caller was pretty solid. Uh, other than you know, like I said, running on third and ten and shit like that at the beginning, being way too conservative. And at the end of the day, it's nothing you can do when your defense don't get a stop. They scored on every possession besides one. It's nothing you could do. We was asking Brock to go out there and drop forty. That's Bruh. not gonna happen. Like, I, I, like, even if, metaphorically speaking, we only got 21, okay? We could have had 28. We was driving down the field, but we kicked the field goal early, okay? They really stopped us, what, four times, okay? But we stopped them one time. You're asking Brock to score over 30 points. Like, over 35, pretty much. You're asking Brock to score 35 points. Like, we don't have that on all, like, we don't have that. We don't have that type of quarterback on offense. It's just not going to happen. He did all he could do. He played well, but, I mean... Come on, we got we got a nice little offensive scheme, but when you down multiple possessions the whole game, what can you do? I mean, we didn't we didn't punt nothing but one time in the first half. I mean, in the second half. In the second half, when we got the offense looked good, like I said, the first half was being too conservative. In the second half, our offense looked good, was playing good. We didn't punt nothing but one time, but our our, our defense couldn't get a single fucking stop to help us out. Not a single stop. With, with, and I just compliment these dudes who said they're the best secondary in the league. And I, it wasn't really our secondary fault a lot of the time. A lot of the time, we, like I said, it was them running the ball. Okay, our linebackers not getting it, uh, playing their positions. Uh, our linebackers not doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, our, our our defensive linemen, you know what I'm saying, not helping, not contributing to anything. Okay, so a lot of it was them running the ball. A lot of it, a lot of it was zone. So it was like, it was like... It was terrible, and I, 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 we got one sack this game. The whole offensive line, the Lions' offensive line did not move on the play, okay? The center accidentally hiked the ball, and we got a sack that way. That was the only sack we had all day with one of the highest-paid defensive line. This is the fifth highest-paid defensive line in the entire league, okay? We have, like, 19 DNs. I know a couple of them heard William Hayes, Charles Harris, and things, but you, you got to be better. I mean... You know what? It's, it's just the defensive line has to be better. I don't know who's going. Somebody has to go. It's going to be Devontae Parker more than likely because every time we lose, we get rid of somebody. And more likely, it's going to be Devontae Parker because he he, he got to go after this. He got to go after this because he's like, what is, what is he here for? You know what I'm saying? He's here for no reason. Like, he's not playing on Sunday. When he does play, he's playing four snaps. I don't even know if anybody wants him because he's hurt. But asking for a third round pick for him, which doesn't even make sense because I don't think nobody's giving us a third. But if we do, hey, thanks, Lord. But yeah, I mean, to wrap this video up, all I can say is uh, the defense played terrible. The Lions offense played well, and that's why they beat us. It wasn't, you know, I, I don't have no excuses. I, I don't have the refs. I don't, I, it's no bull plays that happen. Literally, our defense came out there at home and just got stomped on every aspect of the game. They did not stop the run. They did not stop the pass. They didn't stop anything. Our offense played way too conservative in the first half, came out of the second half, actually tried to do something, tried to complete this comeback, and our defense 
did nothing to you know every time we win um you know it's, it looks like greatness right and so we're up here right and then every time we lose it's trash right and it's down here so you know we keep on winning we keep on winning then losing then winning then losing then winning then losing eventually you get like right here right they get beside each other and you know in this area right here it's called mediocrity, guys. And that is what it's looking like. Miami Dolphins are headed. Okay. Now it's still early and we'll have to see what happens. But right now, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's looking like another year of the Miami Dolphins aren't bad enough to actually f be trash and get the first round, get the first overall draft pick and for everybody to be able to unanimously agree with trash. But we're not good enough to actually make no real noise because we keep on losing to f teams that we're supposed to win to. And it's just. It's unfortunate. Now we got a short week without probably Alba Wilson, who's hurt, and Kenny Stills is hurt. We have a short week, so both of them might not even play. Devontae Parker might be traded. There's a whole bunch of going on, guys, and I don't, I don't know. It, it looked like it's about to be a dumpster fire. Um, I, I just, Des Bryant's available. Like, I, I might have to make a call. It is what it is. Anyways, guys, get in conversation. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. Roll to seven, count away. It's your boy K Flexing. Dolphins. Oh, you motherfucker.